This is how to use the viewer as a healthcare professional in the exam room with your patients. Once you have opened your model, you will be looking at the viewer. There are quite a few tools that you can use as a physician, but there are a couple that we highly recommend. Now first, we have the 3D canvas. This is where the model's contained and where you can interact with it. To the left here, I have my info panel. I may not necessarily need that, so I can go ahead and close that info panel. And then down here at the bottom, we have all of our tools. So in this case, we have a tour. So this is a multi-chapter model. So it contains five different models. Uh, they are all designed to tell some sort of story. So in this case, we have a normal heartbeat conduction system, and then we have the atrial flutter. So I can click through these chapters here with this chapter navigation panel. I can also jump directly to the chapter that I would like. Now, if I go to the last couple of chapters here where you'll see that the animation is moving quickly, um, if I do wanna slow this down, I can open the media bar. The media bar gives us a little bit more freedom with how we want the animation to look. So if I go ahead and pause this, I can actually go over here and slow down the animation. I can not only slow it down, but I can also scrub through manually if I'd like to. Uh, so if you want it to be 0 0.1, 0 0.25, I'm gonna go ahead and select 0 0.1, and so it's gonna move nice and slowly now. Back to the basics here, so as far as actually navigating in 3D space, this panel right here will give you access to switching from pan to rotate mode, um, as well as recentering the model, so that's gonna bring it back to its original starting position, and then you can also zoom in and out. I do highly recommend if you are on a computer to use the keyboard shortcuts, they do make it really nice and easy to, to navigate in 3D space. And you can find those actually from this menu button right here, so go to help and keyboard shortcuts, and that'll give you a list of all the keyboard shortcuts. Another really valuable tool for physicians is the draw tool. And this is an annotation tool that allows you to draw directly on the model. Go to menu and then draw. And what this does is it takes a snapshot of the model. So from here, you can go ahead and you can annotate directly on. So I can select this brush tool or text. I can select the different colors and then I can draw just directly on the model. These images can be downloaded locally. So they can be printed, they can be emailed, or they can be uploaded to an electronic health record. On this model, we have access to the Layers tool. That can be found from this menu icon in the bottom right. Uh, you click the Layers tool, and then from here, you can remove system by system and layer by layer different structures. So this allows you to change the model's appearance and to show different structures a lot more quickly and easily than doing it by hand. Lastly, you can click directly onto structures in the model and then isolate them or fade everything else. So for example, if I wanted to just isolate the left superior lobe here, I can click on this and then I click on the three dots. And then from here, I can do fade everything else or I can hide it or isolate it completely. So if I fade everything else here, you'll see everything else in the model gets faded. So this allows me to focus on one specific structure or I can also isolate the structure as well. So that removes it entirely from everything else. If you have any other questions or need any additional support, please feel free to visit our help center at support.biodigital.com.